What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have an awesome recipe that I am super excited to share with you all. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my recipe for barfi. Now for any of you guys who don't know what this delicious sweet is, it is basically a type of fudge that is made with milk powder and some different spices and of course some sugar to make it nice and sweet. Now this right here is not a traditional Guyanese recipe, it is something that's usually made in Trinidad for prayers, for Hindu weddings or even any Hindu holidays. Now this is something that my family usually makes if we have prayer services though, so that's why I know how to make it and although it's not a traditional Guyanese thing, my family and I, we love barfi. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys step by step on how to make some amazing barfi at home and you guys won't be disappointed. I promise you for any holiday coming up, whether you're Hindu or not, or just as a nice little dessert, something to have with your tea or your coffee, this is something you're gonna wanna try. So I'll see you guys in the next clip where I show you guys all of the ingredients and of course how we get it done. All right guys, so before we begin the video, I just wanna go ahead and thank Andrew over at Badesi Imports for sending me the milk powder to use in the barfi recipe today. And if you wanted to buy any of these Badesi West Indian products, head on over to buyeasy.com and you can find any of these products that you see that I use in these sponsored videos. And of course, they'll be shipped to your door if you put in that order. So I hope you guys go ahead and check them out. And now let's move on to getting this recipe done. So the first step when making your barfi is to get your milk powder into your bowl. Now once you get the milk powder in your bowl, you're going to go ahead and start adding these flavoring agents or the spices that are going to go into your barfi. So the first ingredient that I'm going to be adding is some ground cardamom, also known as elaichi. And now the cardamom, it's as per your taste. I'm going to leave all of my measurements down below, but feel free to go ahead and play around with it. I like a lot of cardamom in my barfi, so play around it with it as per your taste. And besides the elaichi, I'm also going in with some ground ginger. Now this is the dried ground ginger, but if you wanted to, you could use fresh. I prefer to use a dried because I find the fresh to be a little too pungent for my liking. Now once you've mixed in all of your spices really well with that powdered milk, you're gonna start to go in with your liquid. And the liquid that I'm using today is heavy whipping cream. You have two choices. You could either use heavy whipping cream or you could use the table cream that comes in the little can in the canned milk section of the grocery store. But I decided to use the heavy cream because that's what I prefer to use in my barfi. Now once you add in all of that heavy cream, what you wanna do is mix it really well until you get these large crumbles. And then you're gonna allow this mixture to sit for about 10 to 15 minutes so this way the milk powder can absorb the heavy cream. So after about 15 minutes of letting my milk powder mixture sit and absorb that heavy cream that we added in, I went ahead and I started on the next step. So what you basically want to do is take a little bit of that mixture at a time, put it into one of these fine mesh sieves, and you're going to go ahead and push it through slowly but surely. And as you guys can see, when it comes out of the sieve, it gives you a nice little fine texture. Now what this fine texture does is gives you a smooth barfi and one that melts in your mouth when it is done. And this step is very important because of that reason. If you didn't do that, your barfi would be pretty not good in texture. It wouldn't have a nice mouth feel to it. Now this is the more traditional method of doing it. It takes a little longer doing it this way. Um, but if you wanted to, feel free to go ahead and put this mixture into your food processor and just blitz it until it is super fine. Now, I show, I'm showing you this way because I know a lot of people do not have food processors in their home, um, so I wanted to show them that this is an option. If you wanted to as well, you could take that mixture that we mixed the heavy cream into, you could form it into one large ball, and you can let it sit in the fridge for just a couple of minutes until it hardens up. And once it hardens up, you can go ahead and grate it on the finest side of your grater, and you're gonna get these fine little shreds as well. Whatever way you decide to do it, you're aiming for the same result. As I showed you guys in the previous clip, you can go ahead and put this through the fine mesh sieve, you could put it in your food processor, or you could form it into one ball and grate it on your hand grater. Whatever way you do it, you just wanna make sure you get very, very fine crumbs once you're done passing it through whatever device you feel. Now, once you've gone ahead and gotten your milk mixture into very, very fine crumbs, what you're gonna go ahead and do is start working on the pog or the sugar mixture that's gonna to bring together or bind that barfi together. So in my pot here, I have a small saucepan and I filled it up with a little bit of water and I've added in my sugar. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is bring this up to a boil on a medium, medium high heat and allow it to boil until the mixture gets very, very sticky. Now I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like and what to look out for when you get to that stage. So my sugar syrup has been boiling for about seven to nine minutes on a medium, medium high heat. And as you guys can see, it's at a pretty rapid bubble, but it's not over boiling at all. You wanna make sure you don't boil it too much or else it can end up crystallizing and that is not good. 
And basically after you see that it has some white frothy edges on the side of the pan, it's time to go ahead and start checking it to see if it's done. So basically what I just did is I dipped out a little bit into the spoon and I blew on it just a little bit. You want to do that because sugar syrup is very, very, very hot and you can burn your hands very easily. And what you want to do is put it between your fingers and test it out. And if it's very sticky, then you know it's done. So once your sugar syrup is done cooking, it is time to put together the final barfi. So in my bowl here, what I have is that same milk mixture that we had the milk powder, heavy cream, spices, and we made them into a fine texture. Now what I'm going to do is take that sticky sugar syrup that we just made, and I'm going to add very little bit at a time and mix it in very well. The reason why you add a little bit of sugar syrup at a time is because if you dumped all in, your barfi could be way too wet and way too sticky. The, depending on the brand of milk powder that you use, the amount of sugar syrup that you make will vary and the amount that you have to use in the actual barfi. So what I like to do is just add a little, little bit at a time and then I'll see how much it needs. Basically what you're looking for is a very crumbly mixture because you don't want the barfi to be super, super soft. If you put too much of the sugar syrup, you're going to have a more chewy barfi and one that is more sticky in your mouth. If you have less sugar syrup, then what's going to happen is you're going to have a nice melt in your mouth barfi. So I like something in between. So I add a little more sugar syrup than some people do. Um, but if you like a chewy barfi, you might want to add a little more sugar syrup than I do. So you just want to eyeball it. And once it comes together and you can squeeze a little ball of it in your fingers, then you know that it is done and is ready to form in your pan. Now you will have some sugar syrup left over. As I said before, depending on the type of milk powder, sometimes it can take more sugar syrup than other brands. So I added in about half of my sugar syrup and then I saw that I was pretty much done. My milk mixture took enough of the sugar syrup. So I'm going to go ahead and start to form it in my pan. So what I've gone ahead and done is once I finished mixing my milk mixture together, I went ahead and I greased a small tray with a little bit of butter or cooking spray. And then you're going to go ahead and put a piece of wax or parchment paper on top of that. What the butter spray does is allows the parchment paper or wax paper to stick. So this way, as you're forming the barfi, it won't move around and shift too much. So as you guys can see, this pan is way too big for the amount of barfi that I made. But sadly, I don't have a pan small enough to put my barfi in. So I just decided that this was the best option. So what you're going to want to do is keep spreading it out with your fingers and try to get it as smooth as possible on the top and to your desired thickness. All right, guys, so I just wanted to share a few tips and tricks on how to get your barfi super smooth on the top. Now, one of the things that you can do is go ahead and take your rolling pin and roll over it until it's nice and smooth. Some people also like to take oil or ghee or some type of fat in their hand and spread it over the barfi to get it very smooth. I don't like to add any oil or any ghees to my barfi because I find that when those things are added, it becomes very, very greasy and I can't really stand that taste and that texture. So... What I'm doing here is because I made a small amount and it's only fitting half the tray is I went ahead and I took the piece of wax paper that was extra and I just folded it over the top and I keep smoothing it out and rubbing it. And every so often I go on with my silicone spoon and I keep patting it down until it's nice and smooth. Just keep working at it for a little bit and then I promise you will get a smooth barfi. Now we have one more finishing touch before the barfi is all done and ready to serve. What you're going to do is take some sprinkles and they should be these little round candied sprinkles that you use to sprinkle over the top of the barfi. Now, in my opinion, and many people will agree with you, barfi is not barfi without the sprinkles. It just gives it a different look. It doesn't really add to the taste, but trust me, that appeal, that look that when you see the barfi, it looks much better when you have the sprinkles on it. So go ahead and put as much or as little sprinkles as you'd like on it. And now what you're going to do is you're going to pop this in the fridge and you're going to allow it to set for about... 30 minutes to an hour just so it can get nice and solidified and then it will be ready to cook. So my barfi actually sat in the fridge overnight. It's just because I had enough time on my hands so I let it sit overnight and honestly that is best because it'll solidify perfectly and then when you cut it it's much easier. But by all means if you only have 30 minutes to an hour feel free to do that as well. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to cut it up into small squares and then it is ready to serve. Now what I recommend you do before you start to cut is just make sure you have a really sharp knife because if you have a pretty dull knife, it's gonna stick all over it and it's just gonna be hard to work with. So I like to cut it very evenly so this way I get the same amount of squares and everybody gets the same size piece. All right guys, so I finished cutting up all of my barfi pieces and I just wanted to show you guys how awesome this barfi looks. It is a beautiful texture on the inside. It is not too chewy and it is not too crumbly. I like a nice little cross in the middle 
but make sure if you like a certain texture to your barfi, go ahead and add in a little or more sugar syrup to go ahead and compensate for how you like the texture of your barfi. And at this point, it is ready to serve. You can go ahead and make this for anything, as I said before. Make it for a religious service. Make it for something non-religious just to have as a snack. It is a delicious dessert and something quick and easy to put together. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you want to purchase the milk powder from Badesi or the cardamom or the ginger, feel free to head over to buyeasy.com and you can purchase all these items and they'll be shipped right to your door. I hope you enjoyed this video today. Go ahead and give it a nice big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet and leave those beautiful comments down below. I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye everyone.